Hey Somos family, get up on your feet and come dance with us. I'm reading my B.I.B. early And this is what it says to me It tells me that I'm never ever alone I'm learning how J.E.S.U.S. Came down to us and gave his best Without a doubt the best friend you'll ever know Our God knows exactly what I need So I remember this Let's go! When you ask, He cares When you see, He's there When you knock, 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 knock God opens up the door When you ask, He cares When you see, He's there When you knock, 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 knock God opens up the door Says to me, it tells me that I'm never ever alone. I'm learning how JSUS came down to us and gave his best. Out of doubt, the best friend you'll ever know. Our God knows exactly what I need. God opens up the door When you ask, He cares When you seek, He's there When you knock, 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 knock God opens up the door Slow down. 
Hey Somos Kids, I'm Johnny. Thank you guys so much for joining us here at another week of Somos Kids. This week is going to be amazing. I promise you're going to have the time of your lives today, all right? Are you ready? Because this Sunday is the first Sunday of December. And you know what December means. You've got to know what December means. It means Christmas is almost here. So what are a few of your guys' favorite things about Christmas. So for me, it's my family getting together, it's the Christmas lights, it's the weather getting colder, all of those things are just a few of my favorite things about Christmas. So I want you guys to just shout out what your favorite things are. Awesome, well, with it being a new month, we're getting into our new series called The Hope of Christmas. So in the month of December, it's a special time of year for us Jesus followers because it's a season we call Advent. And what that means is coming. Advent, the word, just means coming. Because a long time ago, God promised that he would send Jesus, that Jesus was coming. And so we just celebrate that. We celebrate the birth of Jesus in Advent season. And that's what it's all about. Because when Jesus came, he also brought with him a lot of hope for us, a lot of hope for the world. You know, Christmas is such a wonderful time of year. It's a lot of people's favorite time of year. You got the carols, the lights, everything we talked about at the beginning. It's such a wonderful time. A lot of people are actually more happy around that time too. You just get so joyful on Christmas, right? Well, for us Jesus followers, it also means that we get to celebrate the best moment that happened to us. And that is Jesus being born onto this earth. And through that, the main thing we're gonna talk about is hope. How he brought hope. So to do that, we're gonna, we're gonna talk about the story of his birth and how it came to be. And that's how we're gonna learn about hope. And hope's kind of a funny thing, right? Because in the Bible it says, if your hope is met, you'll feel happy and excited and it'll give you life. But if your hope is unmet, it can lead to your sadness and depression and all this stuff if hope isn't met. So hope is so important to us and I'm sure there's some things you're hoping for. For me, I'm hoping for, to see my family this Christmas. I'm hoping we all get to come together and spend time because it's one of the few times of the year that I actually get to see my older siblings who moved away. I'm hoping that, you know, my job goes well. I'm hoping that I get to see a bunch of Christmas lights this year. There's a lot of things I'm hoping for. So what are you hoping for? Just think about that for a second and then get ready because we're going to talk about the birth of Jesus. But first, we need to do our memory verse, all right? So I'm going to go ahead and read it to you guys. For you, O Lord, are my hope, my trust. O Lord, from my youth. Now, I want you guys to say it with me with hand motions. All right, we'll do it slow. For you, O oh Lord, are my hope and my trust. Hand over your hearts. O oh Lord, from my youth, Psalm 71, 5. Isn't that awesome? That's our memory verse, and that's what we're going to be using this whole series. So get ready, remember it, and get it down, because that's what we're doing, all right? Sweet. So in our lesson today, we're gonna to learn about Mary and Joseph and how an angel came to them and told them what they were gonna do and how they were gonna play a part in the birth of Jesus. So let's go to that video now. Let's find out what happens. This is Mary. Hi, 
name. You see, Mary was the mother of Jesus, but before that happened, she lived in the town of Nazareth. Mary had no children because she lived according to God's law <laughs> and had never been married. Oops. But she was engaged to marry a man named Joseph. Hey, -o. Hi, Joseph. One day, an angel came to Mary and said, Hi. Ah. That God had chosen Mary. The angel said, God is with you. But Mary was afraid and confused. She wondered what the angel was talking about. Then the angel said, Don't be afraid. God loves you and wants to use you in a great way. Uh, me? You will give birth to a son, and you will name him Jesus. He will be very great, and he will be the king forever. Uh, hold on. Mary asked, But how can this happen? For she was not married yet and knew that she couldn't have a child until she was married. But the angel told Mary that the Holy Spirit would make her pregnant. Wow. So that the baby born will be holy and will be called the Son of God. Wow. The angel reminded her that nothing is impossible with God. Eh, okay, let's do this. So Mary decided to trust God and all that he had planned for her. Before their wedding, Joseph found out that Mary was pregnant. Wait, what? He thought she had done something wrong. Uh. But Joseph was a man of God and decided to break off the engagement quietly so no one around town would think badly of Mary. While Joseph was thinking about all this, an angel appeared to him in a dream. Oh. Uh, hi? The angel said, Joseph, don't be afraid to take Mary as your wife. Huh, what? The angel explained that Mary's baby was from God. Wait, what? The angel told Joseph that the baby's name would be Jesus, and he would save his people from their sins. Oh, wow. And when Joseph woke up, he did as the angel told him. Uh, hi. You ready? Right? Really? and took Mary as his wife, while she was still pregnant with the Son of God. And so Joseph and Mary trusted in God, and the two followed the plan that God had given them to help bring the Savior into the world. That's so crazy. So Mary was chosen by God. Even though she was afraid, she showed a lot of courage. She chose to obey willingly, no matter what happened. Because you see, Mary, didn't know what Joseph was going to do. Joseph could have said something mean, hurt her feelings, left her, didn't want to marry her anymore, or just completely ignore her or avoid her, right? She didn't know how her friends or family were going to react. They could have embarrassed her, made her feel bad about herself, didn't believe her. Many of these people might not have believed her, but Mary chose that she was going to obey God anyways, and that takes a lot of courage for a person to do. It takes a lot of courage to say yes to God when you don't think other people are going to be okay with it. And you know, that gives us so much hope. That's a lesson for us that we can get hope from saying yes to God. If we say yes to God and we follow through like Mary did, we can see that He's going to take care of us, that He's going to work things out for us. So we can say yes to God with hope. So let's take 30 seconds to pray and let's ask Jesus to make us more like Mary, to give us an attitude full of hope so that we know that we can say yes and we can hope that God's going to take care of us and that hope is going to be met, all right? So let's take 30 seconds, ask Jesus to give us more hope and the courage to say yes to God, all right? 30 seconds starts right now.
right, well, that was awesome, you guys. Come back next week so we can continue the story and we can get all the way up to Jesus' birth. I'm so excited for it. I hope you're excited for it because it's going to be awesome. All right, so I'll see you guys next week. But before we go, we need to take time all together and pray as a Somos Kids family. All right? So bow your heads and let's pray. Father God, thank you so much for giving us the example of Mary, for showing us a cool story like this, and for the birth of Jesus. Thank you for giving us hope that we don't have to go through life wanting to give up or wanting to quit, that we can hold on to hope, and that hope can help us keep pushing forward, God. I pray that we just learn what hope is, we learn and understand more what hope means to us, and this week that we would be more like Mary and we would have more courage and more hope. In your name we pray. Amen. Well, bye Somos kids.